Cell Power, a cell phone company, charges $8 per month plus 15 cents per minute for each minute talked. Draw a horizontal axis representing the number of minutes talked and label it from 0 to 100. Draw a vertical axis representing the amount of the bill in dollars and label it from 0 to 25. Title the graph. So to set up the graph, notice how we have talk time in minutes along the horizontal axis which goes from 0 to 100 scaled by tens and we have the cost in dollars along the vertical axis which goes from 0 to 25 scaled by fives and we also have a title for the graph. Number one, recall that a quantity is an attribute of an object or situation we can imagine measuring. What is the input quantity? And what is the output quantity? Because the talk time in minutes determines the monthly cost in dollars, the talk time is the input quantity and the cost in dollars is the output quantity. And we always have the input quantity along the horizontal axis and the output quantity along the vertical axis. So once again, the input quantity is time in minutes. And the output quantity is cost in dollars. Write two ordered pairs using the input and output quantities. For each ordered pair, the input quantity is the first value and the output quantity is the second value. So for example, let's say there are zero minutes of talk time for the first month. Then the input quantity is zero and because the monthly cost is eight dollars plus 15 cents per minute, the monthly cost or output quantity is equal to eight dollars plus 15 cents per minute times zero minutes, which gives us eight plus zero, which equals eight or eight dollars. The ordered pair is zero comma eight. Next, let's say there's 10 minutes of talk time for the month. 10 would be the input quantity. The output quantity is the monthly cost, where the monthly cost is going to be equal to eight dollars plus 15 cents per minute times 10 minutes and 0 0.15 times 10 is 1.5 giving us 8 plus 1.5 which equals 9.5 or $9.50. The ordered pair is 10 comma 9.5. Number two, an ordered pair table is a table of values with two columns in which the input values are usually listed in the left column and the output values in the right column. Each row represents an ordered pair that is a point on the graph. Complete the table representing the minutes talked to the total cost of the bill. Use appropriate headings for each column. Use the points to make a graph. So looking at the table, I've already titled the columns where we have time in minutes and cost in dollars. And the first two ordered pairs that we found on the previous slide give us the first two rows in the table. When the time is zero, the cost is $8. When the time is 10 minutes, the cost is $9.5 or $9.50. And I've copied the calculations from the previous slide here and here. Next, we need to determine the cost when the talk time is 20 minutes. Well, the cost is going to be $8 plus 15 cents per minute times 20 minutes, which gives us 8 plus 0 0.15 times 20 is equal to 3. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 or $11, giving us the ordered pair 20 comma 11. Next we have a time of 30 minutes and therefore the cost is going to be 8 plus 0 0.15 times 30 which gives us 8 plus 4.5 which equals 12.5 or $12.50. The ordered pair is 30 comma 12.5. Let's do one more and then we'll notice a pattern in the table. When the time is 40 minutes, the cost is 8 plus 0 0.15 times 40, which gives us 8 plus 6, which equals 14. So the order pair is 40 comma 14. Notice as we go down the table, the minutes are increasing by 10 minutes, and each time the minutes increase by 10 minutes, the cost increased by $1.50 or $1.5. Notice 8 plus 1.5 is 9.5, 9.5 plus 1.5 is 11, 11 plus 1.5 is 12.5, 12 12.5 plus 1.5 is 14, which means 
When the time is 50 minutes, the cost is $15.5 or $15.50. When the time is 60 minutes, we add 1.5 to 15.5, giving us 17 or $17. When the time is 70 minutes, the cost is 17 plus 1.5 or $18.5. When the time is 80 minutes, the cost is 18.5 plus 1.5, giving us 20. When the time is 90 minutes, the cost is 20 plus 1.5 or $21.5. And finally, when the time is 100 minutes, the cost is 21.5 plus 1.5 or $23. Now we're asked to use these ordered pairs to make a graph. Let's do this on the next slide. Each ordered pair represents a point on the graph. The first ordered pair is 0, 8, which means from the origin, we do not move left to right, but we do go up eight units. This is one point on the graph. The next row gives us the ordered pair 10 comma 9.5. From the origin, right 10, up 9.5. The next ordered pair is 20 comma 11. Right 20, up 11. The next ordered pair is 30 comma 12.5 from the origin, right 30 up 12.5. Continuing, we plot each ordered pair as a point on the graph. Because the horizontal axis is scaled by tens, and the values between these do have meaning, we will go ahead and connect the points and form a line. Number three, what is the meaning of the ordered pair 20, 11? Remember 20 represents the talk time in minutes, and the 11 represents the cost in dollars. This ordered pair means if the talk time is 20 minutes, the monthly cost is $11. And notice how we can verify this from the table. Number four, write an equation that represents the minutes talked to the total cost of the bill. To find the variables, recall that one way to think of a variable is as a letter that represents the values of a quantity that may change within the context of a mathematical problem. Let's define the variable m as the minutes talked and the variable c as the total cost of the bill. Again, because the company charges $8 per month plus 15 cents per minute, we have the equation C, the total cost, equals 8 for the $8 plus 0 0.15 for the 15 cents per minute times M, which is the number of minutes. Number five, verify the equation is correct by using the table of values. To do this, let's select the ordered pair 80 comma 20 and make sure it satisfies the equation or makes the equation true, which means we will substitute 80 for M and 20 for C and verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. Performing the substitution, we have 20 equals 8 plus 0 0.15 times the number of minutes, which is 80. Now on the right side of the equation, we multiply before adding 0 0.15 times 80 is equal to 12. The right side simplifies to 8 plus 12. 8 plus 12 is 20. 20 equals 20 is true, verifying our equation is correct. Following number six, better description of how the cost changes with respect to the number of minutes talked. Well, looking at the table of values, we can see every time the talk time increases by 10 minutes, the cost increases by $1.50. Looking at our equation, we could also say for each one minute talked, the monthly cost increases by 15 cents. Let's go ahead and say for each 10 minutes talked, the monthly cost increases by $1.50. I hope you found this helpful.